All right. Uh, hi again, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Uh, voice is a little under the weather. Woke up a little hoarse today, but we're wrap up the Great Lake series this afternoon on this Monday evening, June 26, 2017. And here's the old classic, the big boy, the Edmund Fitzgerald Porter. Porter, one of the uh, another one of the flagship uh, staples from Great Lakes. It has the big ship logo with the waves and. Everyone also take the chance to take the time to uh, say a prayer for those lives lost in that event, that tragic uh, shipwreck. Of course, this ship freighter was always was docked frequently in Cleveland. So again, another very very cool, unique uh, hometown thing that the Cle city of Cleveland does uh, with the Edmund Fitzgerald Porter. It says a robust, robust and complex. Our Porter is a bittersweet tribute to the legendary freighter's fallen crew. Taken too soon when the gales of November came early, man. This that that's awesome. And you know, they do this, and uh, this is this is a a world class porter. I've had this beer hundreds of times, too time too many to count. Uh, but one of the best porters I've well I've ever had. Still, I mean that's a, probably not the best, but still one of the elite porters I've had. It comes in at six uh, percent alcohol by volume, six percent even, and a little bit of IBUs on this. Thirty seven is the IBUs, which is a little high for a porter. Uh, not. You know, most of us have 37. Most porters are 15, 20. So 37 is a little bit up there. I'm just going to get this uh, bottle cap off here. There's a Great Lakes bottle cap on the Edmund Fitzgerald. Uh, 6%. No Great Lakes glass room. I got at my parents' house. A little Monday after work. I got a Great 50 West glass. Great local brew we'll get into here shortly. But uh, we'll go. Here's the, doc the chocolate and rich malts of this one. So here's the pour on the Edmund Fitzgerald. Really going to enjoy this. And you know, you're right. For being a chocolate porter, uh, there is some ruby color in here. I'll finish this a little bit out of this. Uh, this is best enjoyed by 11.14, so plenty of time. This is real fresh, actually. I mean, we're, yeah, this is brewed by a month ago. Look at the ruby color. I don't know if you can see it. Dark, dark notes there. Ruby. Great head on this one. This is a 12 ounce pour right out of the bottle. Uh, again, a few notes about this beer. Standard uh, year round uh, offering here. Again, great ship logo. Hopefully the rain holds off. It's clouding up here. They're saying a chance of rain this evening, but when I said this evening, maybe overnight, but clouding up here. We got one more to go. I'll get the Elliot Ness after this. But uh, this is one of my favorite porters. Again, the whole team behind it's cool. Uh, again, the crew members losing their life. and of course, that freighter was was docked in Cleveland uh, on Lake Erie uh, dozens of times, as uh, uh, Gordon Lightfoot ends in the song when she left fully loaded from Cleveland. So, uh, yeah, cheers to those members that lost their life, and again, continue to pray for that whole situation. But here we go, get the aroma on this, and uh, you get that chocolate, and it's a ruby color. Our good friend Dave, I watched his review, <laughs> doing my homework. Great, great guy, Dave. He's really kind of turned me on to these reviews, and. Really love his approach, and of course he is a Cleveland guy. Lives a mile from the brew pub up here, but this is a tremendous porter. The ruby color, uh, great chocolate coffee notes. This is like I said, and the consistency of this beer. This was first released in the mid '90s, and it, it tastes. I was drinking this in early 2006. I think it was my first time drinking this in high school. I shouldn't say that too loud on a YouTube video, but uh, here we go. Cheers to the Edmund Fitzgerald here on a Monday afternoon. Go Red Lakes. No, oh, it's tremendous. That is one awesome. That's awesome. I mean, that is the coffee, the chocolate notes. This is so fresh, too. Eleven fourteen, and it's now what six twenty six. So this, this, I want to know when this was actually brewed on. Yeah, they not what the Great Lakes does do. Is they give you the best buy day. They don't give you a brewed on date. Uh, some different companies vary on that. Great Lakes has always done it. Fresh as buy, which I like, but also it is nice in the winter. This beer has to be no more than a month or two old. That is so fresh, and this is tremendous. I mean, this almost feels like it was brewed last week. Maybe in the beginning of this month, late May. This is tremendous porter. I mean, like I said, I, I'm i giving this an A. Uh, you know, there's nothing. This is excellent. I mean, I, this is a Great Lakes flagship beer. 6% is not going to kill you. And just tremendous. The coffee notes, the chocolate. Uh, Love this beer. This is classic Great Lakes, you know. It's uh, and again, like I said, with the Edmund Fitzgerald ship logo, one that people collect, tremendous.
I'll get another step on this here. Oh yeah, baby. That is definitely drank three or four of those in a night. That is awesome. That chocolate finish on that. Yeah, you get like a coffee. Kind of like a roasted coffee malt up front. Definitely a chocolate finish. They don't label this as a chocolate porter, just a regular porter. A definitely robust complex. It's fully crafted, you know. I had a lot of porters that are just from local companies, even from Kona, that are just good coffee, good chocolate flavor, but they finish real watery thin. This is balanced, crafted. A beer for me. Uh, 94 out of 100. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm going to give it an A. Uh, I've been drinking this for a long time. Another great, great legs beer. Uh, we're going to finish, that'll pretty much wrap that up on that. Again, Kyle Sauter at Yahoo.com. If anyone wants to uh, shoot me an email, I haven't got anything yet, but uh, we'll see. But I'm going to finish up the Great Lakes here tonight. Uh, Elliot Ness, which is one of the, my favorite ambers ever, is on deck. And then we'll be done with Great Lakes and hopefully be starting New Holland tomorrow. New Holland tomorrow. But this is tremendous. I'm sure everyone's had this, had this porter by now. Uh, most people have anyway. But, uh, yeah, world-class porter. Uh, I think this is better than the Founders Porter. We were reading about that with the breweries. Great Lakes and Founders, best Midwest brewery. Uh, excuse me there. The Great Lakes came in third. I'm the great and I'm the best and most consistent brewery of the Midwest. You know, I'm just a new brewers that came along. This was for breweries that have been around 15 years. They had Founders and Bells, and that's fair. They probably are better than Great Lakes. But I think this porter beats founders and bells i really do i think this is one of the best porters i've ever tried still to this day and that's what that's what i think is so consistent about this company you guys said i wasn't rave about the great lakes Bird company is you know burning river holds up elliot ness just Evan fitzgerald their christmas sale there are some other better so much with so many breweries and so many beers out there that these these staple of great lakes core beers can hold up and they have for 15 20 years still it's just I, I challenge someone to put a better porter than this. This is tremendous. And like you said, the coffee and chocolate notes on this. This is an awesome beer, an A beer. So wrap that up here in about a half an hour. We'll get back with the Elliot Ness. Elliot Ness Amber. And that will be it for our Great Lakes Core series. There's our bottle cap there. Uh, cheers, everyone. And we'll see you here shortly. See you.